Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from PAX Unplugged 2018, bringing you all the board game coverage all weekend long. As usual, I'm your host, Matt. I'm Anne. And today, the one, the only, Andy Looney from Looney Labs. Andy, <laughs> I love having you on. It's always an adventure. It's always fun. And you always have awesome things to show off. So I'm super excited about that. But before that, how's the con going for you so far? Oh, great. We're having a fantastic time. Yeah. Uh, I've, we've got a booth in the sales area and a couple of demo tables in the <coughs> demo zone. Mm -hmm. And um, I've mostly been in the demo zone. I love that your demo tables have the, the tie-dye the yeah. tie tablecloths. Yeah. Yeah, that's it our signature look. I can <laughs> see you I mean, from across the hall. I don't know if you know anything about having a signature look. No, no. Not, not here at Twist Gaming. You stand out <laughs> from the crowd if, you, if people could kind of look over and say, oh, I know who those people are because they have that particular... Style, color, brand pattern. Brand. Yeah. I, I think I, we're on the same wavelength. So Andy. anyway, yes. We're in the demo area. Most of the time I've been playing games and showing off new games I have in development. But I hear that, that uh, my, my, uh, my people in the booth are going crazy. The sales are just wonderful. Oh, oh that's, that's fantastic. fantastic to hear. We're having fun and, and making good sales. It's great. It's really so good, nice that, you know, you're running this company. You've been around for so long. You really are a staple in the community. And in, you make yourself so accessible to the community. Like you're saying, I'm out here in the demo area. I made this game. Come play with me. And I know you have a couple sure. of games where you throw out challenges to the community. I love that. Play that's with so me good. and beat me, and I will give you things for that. I mean, you never let anybody just win. I don't <laughs> let anybody win any game I play. That's no. like one of those things you're supposed to do when you're teaching people a demo game. No. Is let them win so they have the experience. Of Not Andy. <laughs> Not with me. If you beat me, it's because you actually legitimately yes. won. I yes. never throw a game. I think we've played about five or six games of Get the MacGuffin with you on stream, and uh, <laughs> it's always been a slaughter. You've always killed us. <laughs> I thought once I had him, and he's like, ba bam, nope. Nope, nope. <sighs> All right. Well, so I brought along my purple bag. And <laughs> again, you guys love purple, but I've been loving purple a long time. I have a purple house and a purple car. <gasps> it's because you're a, a smart purple man. purple Volkswagen Beetle. Now we know where we're moving the stream to. <laughs> I also, we've always had a, a demo bag that we adopted long ago as ours, which is the, like the six pack cooler bag, but it's just yeah. the right size for carrying a bunch of our games. Works. And of course, we always make them purple. <laughs> and there's been uh, several di uh, different editions, but always the big bag of purple games. So this is my current, like, my bag of prototypes that I always want to have with me. And right now I have in here, yeah. well, I have a copy of Deep Space Nine Flux. Ooh. This is uh, the third in our, our uh, Star Trek Flux series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people have been asking for this one. We did uh, Next Generation and Original last summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the Deep Space Nine fans are like, where's Deep Space Nine? We want that. <laughs> Here it is. Well, exactly so. We can only do so many things at a time. <laughs> and I feel like each one really deserves its own full version. So we're getting to it. Awesome. And now all the Voyager fans are like, well, what about us? <laughs> I'll get to you. <laughs> <laughs> the Sit fans down. are planning the release schedule at this point, right? <laughs> now, what was really cool about the original Star Trek versions of the game, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it was that they were combinable. It's true. And th this one can be mixed in with those, those first two. Right. Although not quite as wonderfully. I mean, I've, I've got compatible symbols and things. But in, uh, in the same way that Deep Space Nine is really kind of a departure from the Star Trek formula, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whereas TNG and TOS both kind of have, you know, they each have like a doctor and, a, and, a, and an engineer and a, and a first officer and a science officer. And, you know, and you kind of, kind of fill in, in and they, it, 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 they, it, <coughs> they kind of fell out of the same template in certain ways. And that meant okay. that they combined very nicely together. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this, it's in the same universe, but... There weren't quite as many ways that things would overlap. So the real question is, will there be a, a connecting expansion pack? Whereas in, in the first two, I made the bridge pack that unites them. Right. I don't have a, a plan for a pack that would really connect all three Deep of them Space nine with the others. OK. And I don't know if I'll be able to. OK, which is a fair answer. So this is close to production. Um, this prototype, which I've been playing all weekend, has the final art-ish. Ish. Uh, it has not gone through the actual... We have not gotten the CBS approval yet. Okay. okay. 
So it's not blessed for production. But this is what it's going to look like. In here, I also have, um, you mentioned Get the MacGuffin. I always carry that around with me, especially because I got an expansion. Oh, really? Ooh. Six new cards that we're play testing. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, I still got some corrections on those. Those are still in development. So there's that. Um, you mentioned my deal. I always oh, yeah. have a Homeworld set with me. See, too. I told you guys. <laughs> and just in case somebody challenged me and I, it goes badly, I do always have. I like how badly means that Andy loses. It's not <laughs> like it's good for them. It's just that's bad. If it goes badly and I lose, <laughs> I have a medal ready to award. Look at that. Oh, my God. So I always have one of those in here. So wait, how many of those medals have you actually ha had to give out? 18. 18. 18. Okay. Yep. So there's so you're saying there's How? a chance. <laughs> Not um, for you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There's always a chance. <laughs> so I have got some promo cards. I've given you guys fist bumps before, right? Yes, yes, yeah. I, mean, I can always give you another fist bump just because. But there's what we've been giving out still at this con. And I also have War Doctors, so there's some of that stuff in here. My Andy Looney cards, if, if I have occasion for someone to who asks, asks for my autograph, I've got those. I also have scout bonuses for, yes. for uh, those occasions. Some of this other stuff that I always have in here. But, and a Homeworlds board. But the most exciting in a lot of ways is this one here. Time Breaker is a brand new time travel game. I've been working on it for years. Yeah? Yep. And it goes to the printer on Monday. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Yeah. So well, but actually, when I say the most exciting, oh, I forgot about this. This is Chrono Trek. Okay. Chrononauts, Star Trek version of Chrononauts. Oh. That's huge and epic and amazing, but this isn't going out until next August. Okay. So it's not this, right around the corner, literally like Time Breaker is here. This is, is so, so urgent, as it were, that it's very exciting. But it's also very cool. Because this is incredible, but it's also um, mostly exciting to classic Star Trek fans. Well, all all Star Trek fans. But the bigger the the, the nerdier the Star Trek fan, the more they're going to take to it. <laughs> this is an awesome time travel game that everybody's going to love. So talk to me. You've been developing Time Breaker for years. You say, what was the inspiration for the game, and and what's why did you take the time to develop the game for so long? What um, this what must be? What did you see? Yeah, in man. The way that uh, this has got to be a project you love. I'm really excited oh, well, to hear about it. You know, I, a lot of times um, I invent games and they come together very quickly, and those are some of my best games. But that doesn't. Uh, sometimes it takes many years to kind of get around to publishing a game. I mean, I'm in a very unique position in the industry in that we only publish my games. Right. And that that means that I have both a certain amount of control about what comes to market when and yeah. a certain lack of control with that because I am still – one of the other things, Kristen runs the company. Mm -hmm. I'm just the chief creative officer. And I, I don't oh, – it's a good hierarchy. She, she makes the ultimate decisions. I always say I just invent the games. I don't decide when they come out or any of that. So I'm able to have a very relaxed attitude about my games because – I know we're going to get to them. You know, right. I, and I've published so much <laughs> stuff at this point that I'm in no hurry to see anything come out. So uh, the game has been solid and stable for years. Several years ago, I hammered out the design. Okay. And it's just been in my bag of, we'll get to that some days. Okay. Because there's only so many things we can do in a year. We, right. we are still a, a very small company. We're always just kind of working at our level of, you know, enough money to keep the things, you know, we can't push, publish everything all at once. Right, right, Kristen's right. Kristen's always still needing to wrangle money to, to, to make it all work. Fair enough. But um, it's time has come. I like it. So let's take a look at it. How much time do we have anyway? Uh, let's see. It is. Oh, we're out of time? Oh, no, no not at all. I'm not letting you go so that you, easy. You've still got about, uh, you know, 20 minutes here, Andy. Oh, great. So I, are we able to play? Yeah. Time breaker? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Oh! <coughs> Yanking on the cord. Unless I ruin the whole thing. Ah, you're fine. I, I better put this away. I'm not going to need this here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's going <laughs> to... I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this art is by the fabulous Derek Ring, who is pretty much our number one illustrator. He's done so many games for us 
more than any of the other. We hire a lot of different artists, but he's hired. He's done probably half our games. Okay. And it's a it's a little bit more than uh, well. For one thing, notice that it's one of these boxes. Is this is our usual box size? This one's half it's again taller. It's a little thicker, yeah. So yeah. it's a bigger box. Yeah. Little, and inside it's got a little divider little organizer, and it has a, a <coughs> deck of 56 cards, 25 tiles, okay, and a bunch of pieces. Okay. okay. So you were asking what's the inspiration or whatever. Yeah. Well, for one thing, I just love time travel. Time travel is my favorite subject. And I've designed a number of time travel games in the past, but a lot of them kind of use the same engine, which I, I patented some years ago. I don't know if you know this. But the, uh, the, the, the engine behind, the game engine behind Chrononauts was awarded U.S. patent number something or other, six million something or other. He's got it off the top of his I, head. I He's, playing yeah, he, he's playing coy. He's playing coy. Playing <laughs> coy. I, well, I have three patents, and I still remember the first one's number. Because well, you always special. love your first one that's the most, true. right? That's true, yeah, yeah. Which so is? The, for the first one for the pyramids was 4,936,585. Oh, before the millions. Four or million. four million. I thought you said, okay, <laughs> never four mind. Million. Four million. Nine hundred. Uh, before the five million. Before the five millions. There you go. Yes, before the five millions. There you go. That's and then my next one was in the six millions. I think they're up to the nine or nine millions or something. At this wow. Point. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, the method of manipulating, uh, the method of simulating time travel in a card game was patent number six million something. That's this awesome. is not that Perfect. game. So in that game, <coughs> you get to go back in time and change history. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this game, that's a crime. Uh oh. And we will arrest anyone who does that. Okay. Someone who changes history is a time breaker and is subject to arrest by the security division of the time repair agency. That's us. Matt's dressed very appropriately for this agency position with I'm your here vest. To take care of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony Kneecaps. Yeah. Spe special agent <laughs> Tony Kneecaps special to you. <laughs> so the game is played on a game board okay. made out of tiles. All right. So it's different every time. Okay. But it always starts with Time Repair Agency headquarters in the middle. Okay. And now you're laying these out circular and around it. Yeah, and that's just kind of the pattern I have. But you but you randomly set them out so that, again, it's it's a different arrangement every time. And it's a 5x5 five five grid. Okay. So it uses all 25 of the yes, tiles. Yes, then. we set up the whole time stream at the beginning. Now, this is the time breaker, the perp. <laughs> we don't have a description of him, so we're just using this cube, cube. to represent him. He's here, always the upper left-hand corner. Okay. okay. So we are then these agents. Pick a color to represent yourself. Uh, we're all going to be fighting over the purple one, so no one gets to be it. <laughs> <laughs> Blue. I love you, Andy. Uh, I'm going to take red. Oh, sorry. I'll be green. <laughs> okay. Report to time repair. Well, actually, first let's yeah. use this okay. to see who goes first. All right. Tried and true randomization method. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Drop one there. Blue. All right. <laughs> so you'll be going first. Okay. Now, in a cl in classic Andy Looney f game format, yeah. we will get three cards per player. Okay. Public, private. Oh, uh, private, very much. Okay. Yeah, it's very private. All right. Yeah, this is not a cooperative game. <laughs> Imagine that, Andy Looney with a cooperative <laughs> game. <laughs> you know, I was just talking to one of my fellow game designers Stop. about how I really <laughs> need to design a cooperative game. <laughs> I don't know if you could. <laughs> oh, would, They're would all in the rage with the kids these days. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they hand the three cards. Mm -hmm. Now, the object of the game yeah. is to navigate the time stream yeah. to the time breaker, tell him you're under arrest, time breaker, <laughs> and then move with him. At that point, he will move with you. Okay. Mm. And when you move w back to headquarters <coughs> with the time breaker in tow, you win. Okay. Okay. Now that's because we're all working for this, the, the agency, and it's like whoever brings in this perp is going to get the promotion, you know? <laughs> So it's not a cooperative game. No, I have to put food on the table, guys. I'm sorry. And the uh, 
if the perp just kind of shows up on his own, that means he turned himself in. Game ends with no winner. Oh. That's unacceptable. That's interesting. So you must capture them on your own. Okay. So oh, you're going to have any three cards. On yes. your turn, you will draw a card. Okay. And then do a thing. Okay. All right. You have three possible things you can do. Yeah. One is to play a card out of your hand. One is to play this card, whatever it is. We call that the wormhole action. <laughs> and the third is to follow a green arrow. So let's look at the board. You'll notice four green arrows going out from headquarters, but then elsewhere, every tile has a green arrow that points to another time gate destination. See that? Yes. Yep. So if you're on a gate, you could say, I'm going to go through this. You follow the arrow, you pop out, in this case, 2103. 2103. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you can also move from one space just directly across if you have a card that allows it. Okay. okay. So let's take a look at some of these cards. So, <coughs> for example, a lateral move will let you just jump from one spot to the next. Now, from here, you could just do that anyway. Cause right, right. Hard. But from here, you can go to there. And even it wraps around. You can go to there. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So there are laterals, there are verticals, and there are ones that do both. Okay. Okay. So then there are jump cards. They take you to a specific gate. If you play this, you jump directly to the year shown. Okay. If you are already on that year <laughs> and you play this card, you go to any year you want. Ooh. Boop. Hold it right there, time breaker. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was looking at these. So the third kind of card is the breaker card. Okay. So these represent the time map. breaker taking an action. Okay. okay. So the time breaker, if you play that, they break free of you and go, in this case, they, well, there are, there are three of these. Let's review them. So one is called On the Move, and that one just has the time breaker skedaddle and so you can have them go through the gate to the next gate shown or you can play a jump card to have them go to that place okay gotcha or you could play a move card to have them move laterally or vertically or you can just say i'm not going to add on a card i'm just going to have them go through the gate gotcha there's one called crash a gate which causes one of these gates to be removed Oh, really? Now, in this case, the crash of gate can't do the one where the tiebreaker is. They do one where somebody else is, causing them to tumble back to time repair headquarters and this gate to be removed from play. Oh, darn. Now, some people want to leave it in place, but we remove it because that makes it real clear that this gap can now be jumped with a horizontal uh, or lateral move. Okay. So what happens if one of these is removed? What happens if you were to jump to that location? You would be bounced back to Time Repair Headquarters. Perfect. Now, the third of these cards, the one I started with, it's called Shut and Run. That does both of them. That has the time breaker move to the next <laughs> space and... Oh, where, is, uh, where is the year with the one? With the, 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 is that the one you... Oh no. They would go through the gate to here okay. and crash open the gate well, close it, rather, on their way out the door. So the board's going to be thinning out yes. as we're going. Yes. So the game collapses, as it were, towards an ending. Um, there are also interrupt cards called stop times. You play that to stop someone else's action. Notably, however, they can't stop a green arrow motion. Play this they card have, at any time. stop a card. Okay. Okay. So you still have your default green arrow movement. You can always, you, well, you can do that and you can't be stopped. Right, right. Which means if you're <clears throat> taking the perp home through a green arrow, Ooh. you can't stop them with this card. Okay. But other times you can stop them for the win. Uh, and then there are actions that do a bunch of things, and we'll see how those, those go play when they come up. Okay. I think we've talked about it enough. Let's start. Let's do it. <laughs> So we've determined that you're going first. I, yes. And I also gave you your hand already. All the pressure's on, Ann. No pressure. So he's sitting in 9,000 BCE? Yes. All right. So that'll get me. And we spent a lot of time debating and choosing the 24 most important events in the history of the universe. A lot of them are future dated. So what was the significance about going future dated? 
just that if you know the grand scheme of the history of humankind, there's like some Andrew. events that happen in the future that were worth putting on the timeline. <gasps> Obviously. Like the of course. Al the, the, the colonization of Alpha Centauri, one of my favorites right there. <laughs> the first city on Mars, 2103. They were worth putting down. I feel All like right, so that's accurate. Draw a card. All right. And then do a thing. <clears throat> so the, do end. the green and the red arrows move? Oh no, they so they move backward and forward in time. They don't just move forward into time. Well, the green arrows are where you can move from. The red arrows show you where it came from. Right, but the order of them. So if I'm at thirteen, oh yeah, so yeah, there's a grand order to the whole thing. So, but if if I'm I always going forward in time with the green arrows? Yes. Okay. So if there I there is one action called back it up that lets you follow the red arrow backwards backwards up the time stream. Oh, but okay. You, when you're following the green away. arrows, always go forward in time. Okay. So then I am going. It's the nature of the time stream. It's kind of hard to go backwards up the time stream. <sighs> I'm gonna go to the first city on Mars. I think Boop. that's what I'm going to do. So All this right. is my card. So you can play that just as a free action because okay. the arrow goes out in that direction. So you don't need to play a card to do that. Okay. So I'm going to do that then. All right. All right. So your hand will get bigger <laughs> as you play. Okay. If you take actions that don't use a card. All right. So, so my you turn. draw a card. Draw on a card. So I'm going to do something here. I am going to do my uh, quantum leap action. So okay. reveal a top card and then choose a card from your hand. And I'm going to play both in any order. So... Um, what? You're going to play this card. Oh, well, that's illustrative of what happens in this situation. That's interesting. So, so what I card wound was up getting that, a, Matthew? I wound up getting a time stop. In this situation, you show off to us that you have this very powerful card, yeah. but it just goes in your hand. Oh, cool. Because the only way those are used oh, are no. out of turn to stop someone else's action. You so should not be the God. Yeah. So then your quantum leap consists of just gaining one of those and, and playing, then a card. playing a card from your hand. Perfect. So, so play a card from your hand. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump to 13 billion, 800 million BCE. Day one, Big Bang. The very, 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 very beginning of the time. beginning. So of the you game. are right so here. So your right guy goes over to there, and then it's my turn. And it goes on the discard pile, and I draw one. All right, I'm going to just scoot out in this direction here and keep a card. Your turn. Okay. No. All right. So, and where are you going to? <sighs> it looks like I'm going to go to 2345 up okay. here. How are you doing that? Through the green arrow. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I, I was upside down. Oh. Yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Of All course. Right. So it is. It is nice to be on the side where everything's right. See it. Yep. But um, games look completely different so to us yeah. when we play right away. Four yeah. billion five hundred thousand or five hundred million. Very good. Is that when the sun was formed? Yes, exactly. So. It's a sunny day. A rather important day in the history of our solar system. Um. All right. You know, Matt. Between the two of us. We might just have a chance for one of us to win this game. <laughs> All right, so I don't really like any of my actions right now so much as what I'm going to call letting fate decide. Oh, which okay. Which is the wormhole action. We All haven't right. seen that yet. So I'm going to just say whatever this card is, I'm going to play it. And it is, ha, it's joined me. So all y'all move to MySpace. What? Dot com. <laughs> all right. Your okay. Turn. So remind right. me again, how does the uh, the time breaker move in this game? When a breaker card is oh, when those breaker cards should yep, be over here. Yeah, I just deck. realized they're not in the deck right Heavens. now. Let's good thing I good thing there. I asked. Good yes. thing you asked. Yeah, there are nine breaker cards out of the deck of fifty six cards. So you could do some math and learn the odds of which the breaker cards can be played. But uh, sometimes you sit on the breaker card because you want to hold it for that moment when. They do something and then you don't end up using it. So, Anne, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna go over to 1955. All right. So you draw the beginning of your turn, the end of your turn. Beginning of your turn. Okay. Oh, I should have drawn yeah. beforehand, but that's fine. It doesn't change what I want. All right. To so do. I got this here. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to jump to 776 BCE, the first Olympic Games. Very good. Very good. Where are they? That's uh, very good. Uh, Greece. 
<laughs> Good answer. <laughs> All right. I have. Yeah, I'm going to move vertically to one of my favorite events, the moon landing. I like it. And how about you? Draw your card. Thank you, Matthew. All right. Mm. All right. I'm going to head over. Oh, can you occupy the same space as another oh, player? Yes, absolutely. All right. I think I'm going to hang out on the moon can landing. Have the, uh, the um. guy under arrest and all that. So yes. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move uh, over to 210 BCE here. Okay. You can pass me. Oh, thank you, Anne. Sure. Closing in on him. Did you draw? I did not. Oh, thank I you. I think you did. Oh. All right. And now, because I have the jump card for 1969, I'm going to use it to jump directly. I'm going to stop time right oh. there, Andy. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> Your turn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this will take me to 1991. Correct. You drew your card in? No, man, I know. Oh, I got a breaker card. So okay, do I have well, to play this? No, oh, okay. No, no. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play my move vertically card. So this is going to move me up, and I'm going to go uh, over here, Mr. Time Breaker. And what do you say? Uh, stop right there. I, I feel like there's a, another you have, saying. Well, you, you, can, you don't have to use the exact right language, okay. but you have to say well, you're under arrest. You have oh. to tell him he's under arrest. Stop right there, time breaker. I'm placing you under arrest. There you go. There you go. Huh? We get our five. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So how do we get the time breaker from him? Well, With you land there and also take him under arrest, and then you have to uh, leave first by stop timing him or something like that. Ooh, okay. But a better way is to no! say the, uh, the breaker is on the move. And so he's just going to leave you <laughs> and just go to the uh, the creation of the sun. Okay. <laughs> right next door. I was there. Your turn. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> I was going to go there. Or will be there. It's you time were, travel. That's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. You never know. Okay. So. Draw a card in. Draw a card. <gasps> oh, okay. Action cards I can hold on to? Yeah, any card you can hold on to. There's All no, right. There's no obligatory card play. I'm going to head on over to 2051 when I can find it. Okay. So there it is. Oh, yep. you're next door. Yeah, sure am. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play my move laterally or vertically. Uh-huh, And uh -huh. I'm Stop right there. You are under arrest, time breaker. Yeah. So here's, here's, here's another uh, lesson in how this game works. <laughs> so if you had played this card, return to HQ, then you would get to go back to headquarters with the guy. But when I play it and designate that you go back, he stays there and you report alone. To headquarters. Okay. And there's a whole thing here about how if you get moved back, it's it's like we like to imagine you've been summoned back to the office at just the wrong time, <laughs> perhaps for a completely unimportant reason, like a coworker interrupting you to say, there's cake in the break room. <laughs> and so there's this whole thing we always like to say when you play a card to do this. There's cake in there's the break room. There's cake in the break room. Whose birthday was it? Says it? Here, see the balloon? Hey, hey everybody. everybody, there's, there's cake, cake in the break room. room. That's amazing. That's like the tagline for the game. I love it. Not really. And anyway, there's cake in the break room, so it's your turn. Yeah, yep, it is. All you, buddy. All right, so, yes. All right, so I'm going to laterally or vertically. I'm looking at you all. Oh, pull first. Yeah. Oh, draw first. Always draw first. Laterally or vertically? Okay. To the time breaker. All right. Matthew, yeah. your turn. Um, let's see. So I'm going to draw first. You told him he was under and arrest. And then I've got 11,000 BC. Stop there. right there, time breaker. 
That's right. Thank you very much. Stop right there. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I think the time breaker's on the move. Oh! And uh, he's going to be going over to 11,000 BCE. So he gets to jump over to there. So cruel. So cruel. And it's all you, Andy. Indeed. Indeed it is. Now, we did get our five-minute wrap-up. Yeah, we've, we've got, like, well, two more minutes now, so maybe we could do one more lap around, I want to watch Andy pull it out. I know, he's going one. to. Yeah, I wish I had a way of just, like, suddenly being, this is, this, you know, the game is going to win. But uh, I feel like showing off at least what it's like to see a gate get crashed. So yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the play the breaker card, crash a gate. Okay. And, um, you know... I, I, I'm there, and you're already in headquarters, so I have to crash this one. Of course. Then you back there. Hey. You have any of so that cake? At least I'm the only I one either. working on the job. <laughs> All my coworkers are <laughs> eating cake <laughs> while I'm out in the field trying to arrest this perp. I need my energy. Anne, it's your turn. <sighs> Don't forget to draw your card. <clears throat> But that is how you play my game. Fantastic. And it goes to the printer on so the So this I'm is, oh, the desperate grab. You may oh, choose nice. to discard your entire to hand of cards or move your Boom. token to the same tile as a timebreaker. She but, might win this yet. But guess what, Ann? What? There's cake in the break room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you would have to throw all these away for that desperate grab. Yes. Only to be sent right back, back to the break for room. The cake. And again, we I end with me, the only one even working on the job. It <laughs> happens. You know, Andy, I'm really upset that you drew the cake in the break room card because I had it in my hand. I was going to play it, and you had to do that to me. You had to. <laughs> but I don't blame you. you. I don't I mean, blame I, you. I may not be able to win myself just yet. But it can stop so everybody I have to make else. Sure that you don't. <laughs> as long as you don't lose, that's the key, right? Well, that absolutely is the key. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so well, Andy. if we had more time, I would show off Chrono Trek, but we don't, yes, so yeah. thanks for letting me play games with you today. Where Absolutely. can everybody uh, go online to see you guys and on find out more information about Chrono Trek? Well, we always want to send you to our own website, LunarLabs.com, for any information on our, our doings. And we always want to send you to your friendly local game store yes. to actually buy our games. Absolutely. So check out your friendly local game store for any of the awesome Looney Labs products and uh, take a look for Timebreaker coming out soon. So, Andy, yeah, thank you so February. much for joining us. We really do appreciate thank it. You. Ton of fun. Absolutely. And everyone watching at thank home, you, thank Andy. you so much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to take a brief intermission right now, but we'll be back in just a moment with more coverage here from PAX Unplugged 2018. As usual, I'm Matt. And I'm Andy Looney. <laughs> and that's Anne. And I'm Anne. Bye, everyone. <laughs>